hello everyone and welcome back again and as you can see this time I'm going to tell you about the data canvas and Spotify it is a very important feature because it allows us to see what all data sets we have in our dashboard and how the flow of data is going into the dashboard but before we start I want to tell you guys please let me know your feedback on my videos through comments and any of the suggestion regarding upcoming videos will be much appreciated so let's start so guys just to show you how can we combine data sets from two different data sources into Spotfire itself with the help of data canvas I have already pulled a flat file with some customer data into the dashboard so if you don't know how to pull a flat file into the dashboard uh, you can check out my previous videos link is in description so let's move ahead so here we have our data from the flat file named customer let's jump into the data canvas so here if you can see this is called data canvas or we can directly access by clicking here to the data canvas we can also click on data and go to the data canvas uh, either of the way you are going to be on this page only so let's add few columns or something or let me describe something about this data canvas so here you are seeing the data set which you are currently pulled and here is something that you can add to the data set and here is the final table that would be the end result okay and there are different settings like rename replace the data set and you can also uh, set few settings here like uh, replace the data source complete data source or add some transformation you can add some transformation from here or from here also okay so here's the information about your data sources here's the data that you're pulling and now quickly try to get another data set from another data source into the spot fire and combine it with the customer excel so let's click on this and add columns okay and let's connect to the db that we are connecting uh, let's say we have a SQL server here okay uh, I have already told you how to the connect how to connect with the SQL server and you can see it again here okay yeah so let's pull our order table so that we can see the customer and their orders into a single data table so let's click OK and import this data so here it is asking us to verify the settings so let's verify the settings and you know we must need to give a matching column from data set 1 and data set 2 on the basis of it will identify that uh, which rows needs to be matched or what columns needs to be picked okay so let's match these columns so this is customer id from data set 1 and this is from data set 2 and you know it will verify which column needs to be matched and let's say what columns are being picked so we can see that here that order id from the different uh, another data set is picked then employee id then order date and shipped id okay and here it will also allow to set what kind of join we need to set so le it will be a left outer join left single match join full outer inner join right outer and other than and you know you can also see by clicking what would be the result of okay yeah it's just like an example so let's select left outer join for now and yeah move forward it's not showing yeah okay okay so here you can see the data canvas is updated so right now what is happening is we have our customer data set then we have our added column from a different data set that is called orders or I don't say it is a data set it is a different data source SQL server data source and from that data source we have our table coming that is called orders and, the, and at the final we have our this customer sheet so let's see what customer sheet data have right now it's showing only the customer data but not the order data so if you can check here and see the available columns the available columns are changed and we have four new columns available we can add these into the table also and now you can see the customer and their related orders okay so here you can see 
here the customer one has the order this 10310 and so on so that is it for the data canvas the way i have added rows you can also uh, sorry the way i have added columns you can also add rows and other type of transformation so guys that is all for today let's meet in our next video till then bye